Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. My name is Chess the Mess, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am very excited because I, as I'm sure all of you do too, could really use an escape from the world. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening right now, a lot of things that we can't control. I know most of us, if not all of us, are staying at home the way we should be. And I viewed this as an opportunity that I love video games, I've always loved video games, but very rarely do I get the opportunity to actually play the games that I fall in love watching other people play. So I thought this was a great time to get to play, and I have been wanting to play this game for so long. It is called Death and Taxes, and I thought it would be a great escape. You know, you play as the Grim Reaper, and you are choosing who lives or dies and trying to stop humanity from killing itself and uh, trying to curb the spread of pandemics. Okay, maybe it's a little closer than I thought, but I still think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I love games like this, you know, like Undertale and Papers, Please, which has always been one of my favorites, where your actions actually influence the ending. You know, a lot of games, you might die a hundred times, but it's not going to change what happens to you. Or you might make one bad choice and it'll kill off a character, but it won't change your ending. You know, the ending was always going to be the same whether you defeated the person or not. Whereas in this game, you know, I'm, I don't know for sure, but if I do have it, I'm going to pull it up somewhere on the screen. But originally, I was looking at the creator's blog and they were sorting YouTube creators into different endings. And if I remember right, I thought that I saw nine, you know, when they were kind of like chaotic, evil, uh, chaotic, neutral, chaotic, good, chaotic, <laughs> chaotic, good. Um, and then they had like lawful, evil, lawful, neutral, lawful, good. And so I'm not sure how many endings there are going to be or, you know, how influenced it is by your choices. You know, is there a lot of leeway or is it from the get-go, if you ask one question differently, you're gonna get a different ending? You know, I did watch the demo. I did see the demo being played. Um, I loved the demo and I'm not sure how similar the first week is gonna be to the demo. You know, if you guys watch somebody else play the demo or you played it yourself, you remember that it was about a week and then you got a performance review. And I definitely, in watching other creators, saw a couple of different ways that it could go. So we're gonna dive into this, you know, we've got our title page here. I'm gonna go to the gallery. Oh, okay, so maybe, maybe more than nine endings. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I vastly underestimated the kind of endings, but this makes me more excited because I feel like it means your choices really do matter more than you think. You know, something you don't think is important could be really important. And then it looks like, okay, percentage of players who have this ending, it looks like the most popular ending has about 91% followed by this 90.8%. And then the least played ending is 129 so I don't know if that's the least played because people don't instinctually make those choices or if it's the least played because maybe you have to do things very specifically to get that one, but I guess we're gonna find out. I don't really have a plan going in of what kind of ending I want. You know, I'm just gonna play it the way I wanna play it. And you know, if the game's as fun as I think it's going to be, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up going back and trying to play for more of these endings. So without any further ado, we're gonna dive right in. So we're gonna start a new game. Yes, here we go. Okay, I love this intro. I love the black and white with just the yellow. I think it's so cute. So we're gonna toggle through this. So, oh, I don't wanna skip the intro. So we're gonna go over here. I don't have a mouse mouse, I have a, like the slider one, so I don't know, it might take me a minute. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's our boy, our boy Fate, Keeper of World Order. And he is reading his book. And we need our lemons! Oh wait, can I? Oh no, that's the same. For a second I thought I could click something, and I was like, oh. Though that would 
I wouldn't be surprised if there's like hidden things you can click throughout the game, so like I said, I really want to play the story, but I'm going to try to find some of the hidden stuff too and balance out, you know, going quickly and keeping it going, but also exploration too. Fate needs his lamb. I love the sound effects. I remember that. Okay, got a little Abbey Road there. If you don't know what that is, you should go listen to it. Got our market. Getting his lemons. Oh wait, can I go back to that? Wait, no, I wanna go back to that sound effect. Okay, he does the excuse me sir, which I think is funny. Fate is not happy being touched. If you touch Fate, do you like die? I feel like that wouldn't be surprising. So there we go, building 1801. <gasps> I wonder what he's making. I think it's us. <gasps> there we are. Oh, no, I wanna, I wanna play. Okay, so let's, what do I want? Yellow head, that. I think my favorite is this one. I like the day of the dead and I like how he looks like his smile is more pronounced. And let's see here. Okay, nice. Matches the red. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. I like the red and the yellow. Let's see though. Okay, got a little Joker action going on. Oh, oh, that's cute too. Oh, I don't know. Okay, either this one or this one. How patterned do I wanna get? Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it snazzy. I like the yellow and the red. We're gonna go with this. Yes. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. I love his cat. What a, a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn, hang on. I feel like I'm not important Spawn to number six, seven. Six, seven is fun. I like the number 67. I am fake. I am the keeper of world order. All right, what do I want to ask? All right, let's let's get some of the the basic questions answered. Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office, here to work as a grim reaper. I think I meant that more in a, a bigger picture kind of way, like am I in the afterlife? But yes, I am. I am in an office. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Oh, that's fun. Maybe I'm in Napa. Napa, good old Napa Valley. Your girl loves a good glass of wine. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Mm. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? I'm making no promises. <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Wait, I have to kill people? I'm not ready for this. Whatever you say, boss, are the important questions. Do I get paid for this? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Okay. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Okay, that makes sense. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total okay. even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Okay, this brings me back to the demo. Like, I remember in the demo, obviously, it says you have to kill two people or six people. And there'll be, like, mini tasks, like, um, kill everybody who's an engineer or save everybody who's a doctor. And so you have to be able to read every profile. So they're saying, I won't get paid even if I kill two people, but one of the people 
didn't fulfill the task the way I was supposed to. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. A lot of pressure. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. Sidebar, I don't care how young or healthy you are, if you want to be a good person, not teetering on the precipice creating chaos, stay home, stay in your house, social distance, don't go near other people who you don't live with. Mission accomplished. We keep humans from falling off. Keep the humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. Mm -hmm. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with those 15 different endings. I was born to do this, why me? Oh, I kind of like that, why me? Because someone has to. Mm. Come along, I will now show you your workplace. Okay, not, not as important as uh, I was hoping. One more thing. This will be your mm. seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Assessed? That sounds very foreboding. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. That was funny. Reaper. Reaper. Oh, here we go. And we're starting the game. So like I said, the demo also was sort of a one week period. So we'll see how similar and different it is. I think I'm already seeing a difference. If I remember in the demo, you had an eraser so that you could change your answer. I also remember there was a fidget spinner, which I am, I am not seeing the fidget spinner. All right, a letter. Welcome Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I'm granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules or requests as of today. Quota for the day, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on your first day, Fate. Thank you, Fate, that was nice. We got our little, I have a phone at least, good for procrastinating and scrolling through Cocker. Okay, my phone. I don't know if I'm making a difference because my phone has nothing on it. So I have to kill one of these two people. Let's check them out. So we have Anderson Weller, 46, an economic consultant. Okay, that could be important for like the bigger picture of the world. Anderson has saved countless of businesses, countless of businesses. Anderson doesn't have the best grammar, but that's okay. Um, save countless of businesses from going completely bankrupt, yet the only business they can't seem to save at all for some unfathomable reason is their spouse's DVD slash CD rental shop. It just steers into failure all the time. Oh. Blockbuster, RIP. Oh. Okay, we've got Jillian Van Dolken. She's 50 and she's a zookeeper. Some say they're Mother Earth Reborn. Some say they're a fairy tale princess. But whatever the truth, Jillian is a zookeeper who gets along fabulously with animals. Birds sing when they're near, and talk around town says no plant has ever died in Jillian's house. Oh, I like Jillian. But then part of me feels like businesses are important, but... Oh, are we kidding? I like Jillian. I, li I like that birds sing. I like that she's a fairy tale princess. I'm sorry, Anderson. That was tough, because their ages... Their ages are very similar, and neither one has, like, anything that steers out. Okay, I guess... Deuce Fox Machina. Uh, have you guys seen the movie Ex Machina? I'm a huge fan of that movie. Okay, um... Uh, my choices are confirmed. Day one. Done. Oh, look at my little elevator. Am I... Am I going up? Am I gonna go see my boss? There he is, in his little glowing... Little glowing yellow room. Oh, the new death spawn. That's me. Welcome. How was your first day? Um, I'm gonna say bad. A person died. Regrettable, but also natural. You do this work 
for the greater good. Okay, I guess I did Remember, my job. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. That is correct. Did you figure out the best choice? Nobody deserves to die. The best, there were only two options. I did, no I didn't. Um, I think I did. I mean, it's true, there were only two options, but I, I like my choice. To be I, honest, I feel good. I gave a simple one to begin with. <laughs> there was no best choice. Man, knock me down. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. Does that mean there's places where I should choose no one? Is that a hint? I wonder if you could do that. I wonder if you could kill nobody the whole game and make it through the game, or if it, you would fail the one week thing. We'll explore. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, mm. ironclad law of cosmos. Question? Uh, I mean, I do understand what I'm supposed to do, so I'm gonna say no, I'm ready for anything. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines and keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. All right, we are done with day one, it looks like. Oh, oh, I got money. Look at that, 300. I wonder what you spend the money on. Also, you know, the game is death and taxes, but I don't really, there's, there's my room. I wonder what else is here. Oh, there's all my peoples. It's a lot of the peoples. Ooh, can I go to the, can I go to the bar? No. Oh, what is that? Oh, I can go in here. Wait, Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. Is he a pirate? What ho, customer! He's a pirate. Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I. Immortima. I like this music. The Mortima. The one you may have heard of. Oh, yes. The famous. Nay. Infamous. I love Mortimer. Okay, um, what makes you infamous? The Mortimer. Wait, I'm gonna. The, the Mortimer. An honor to meet such a legend. I, tis me, terror of the waves. I may have grown most humble with age, but tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Uh, can I buy stuff here? Hi. You're visiting okay, me so this is where the money, the, the money comes in. Browse at your will. Okay, what do we got? A coin, the thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. Okay, I don't have enough money. A looking glass, gazing ultimately into the abysmal, the ab I can't talk. A looking glass gazing ultimately into the abyssal. Is it is abyssal? Is that a word? I keep wanting to say abysmal. A looking glass gazing ultimately into the abyssal depths of the underworld. It reflects everything. Well, mostly you. So it's a mirror. Okay, I could afford that, but I don't know if I should buy anything yet. And a pair of cat ears would look fabulous on me and inspire all the fiend lines of the world. Just don't talk or even think about the film adaption of the musical. Wait, wait, that's amazing. Mortimer, you got jokes. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go back just because I don't know exactly, like maybe something's gonna happen later where I need one of those things and I don't wanna waste my money. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to bed. Okay, day two. Oh, no, not seeing the boss yet. We're going to my office. Oh. Oh, because those are, here's my money. I'm gonna put, I wanna put my money in the drawer. Oh, is this like heads or tails? All right, let's see if I made a difference in the world. A spree of bankruptcies strike the chocolate producing and trading industry. Chocolate scarcity now in effect. I ruined chocolate! Okay, now I, I don't feel as good about what I did yesterday. I love dessert. Like, I'm a huge chocolate person, so this... This is a problem. This... 
this is not good for me. All right, another letter. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. I am holding, I am handing you another simple task. So quote of the day, oh, okay. One human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Business as usual fate. Okay, so now I've, it's a little more complicated. So let's, let's look at our friends. Ahuru Firestone, 38 homemaker. So that doesn't sound like an economic or industrial background. Ohuru decided to dedicate their life to taking care of their home and two children. Their partner is the sole breadwinner of the family, and although the kids are getting more independent, Uhuru has no intention of returning to work. Not gonna judge Uhuru. She should live her life. All right. Um, Polter Noman, 40, a bicycle repairman. Repairing bicycles is Polter's life. They own a bicycle shop, designing custom bicycles and pimping up old rides. Experimental brake modifications and neon light installations are Polter's specialty. Okay, I don't know how I feel about the experimental bike or the experimental brake modifications. I feel like that could go poorly, but we'll see. That's kind of an industrial background. Okay, and then Ashaki Conroy, she's 30, that's so young, landscape architect. Ashaki loves nature and enjoys planning, so they decided to put these two things together. Their main expertise is environmental restoration, reintroducing balanced habitats into abandoned industrial areas. They're an avid drawing enthusiast, often sketching wildlife and pencil art. Okay, so I have to kill one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save Uhuru because she's obviously not the industrial or economic background. So for a bicycle repairman, I feel like that's industrial and I feel like with the whole experimental brake modifications, I'm gonna go, I hope that's okay because this one like point blank says she's an architect, which is industrial, but I, I feel like he is too. I feel like he's industrial. We'll find out. Boss. I like this like smooth music they have there. Grim, how was the second day on the job? I'm gonna say good. I don't know if it was great. Good. Good. So, did you follow the rules properly? Almost? Okay. By the looks of it, you did fine. Yes. So, oh, good. continue the good work. And do right. not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. PMA, positive mental attitude. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Mm. Again. Oh. I like the cat. I hope I get to do more with the cat. I hope there's like a cat related death I have to choose and it makes the cat happy or sad. Okay, I got more money. So I have 600 now. Let's go. Johnny get Roger. Order. Oh, Again, it's different. There's different things. With your visit. Oh. Okay, so it looks like we've got a lamp. Oh, wait, what is. It reveals most deeply hidden once you've already made the choices and are passing through again oh okay so that seems like it's a specific item for if you're on like a second playthrough um okay like uh i think this is like a radio and then the cat ears i wonder if the cat ears make the cat happy again i don't want to I kind of want to wait and see what else happens just because I don't want to spend all my money and then there's something really important that I need. So, end the day, yes. And let's go down to work. Yes, down to work. Okay. Okay. Put my money in the drawer. In the drawer. And let's see what my choices did. 
Deserted sand quarry turned into an ecological sanctuary attracts rare bird species. And hipsters panic as trendy bike shop shuts down after owner's death. Okay, so I made the hipster sad. That's okay. Morning, Grim. A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here is another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles and send them to me by fax. Okay, so nothing too crazy. I just have to kill two. So let's get them all, all here. So, Sal Salome? I'm gonna go with that. Salome Albillion, 48, Art Forger. Oh. So Salome started imitating famous artists as a hobby. Then they discovered their partner was selling the forgeries while telling the clients the artworks were real. Salome was furious at first, but due to financial difficulties, started getting along with it. An original piece they're, more, they're most proud of is an oil painting of a bullfish. Okay, so not really helping the world, but I mean, I guess it is hindering it because fake art is going into it, but not terrible. Leo, jeez. Bojarski. I wonder if they just typed random letters and we're like, that's fine. Uh, 67 politician. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. Nope. Nope. No space. No space in this world for corrupt politicians. No space. Okay, um. Columba Hunter. Okay, 47 airplane pilot. I feel like this is gonna be an automatic live. I think I actually remember this guy from the demo. Uh, Columba is a distinguished war veteran, these days working as a well regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Okay, I like, I like Columba here. We're gonna, Columba's good. Okay, so I only have to kill one more person. These two are done. I don't know about her. I wanna see if there's anybody worse. Ezra Gabarol, 40, a minister. Ezra is the Minister of Farming, Agri, and Aquaculture, appointed to this position by the current cabinet for their past loyalty. Thing is, they've no idea how to run this ministry, or any other for that matter, as they keep getting political appointments only through the favors of their old friends and drinking mates. Okay, that, that seems like a pretty automatic kill, but we should read the other one. Laurenthal Singh, I don't know, 26, supermarket cashier. Laurenthal is a full-time cashier and they've embraced the grind with a wheel of steel. Their beacon in darkness is space exploration. Laurenthal supports every act taken towards space, and they even take cosmology slash astronomy classes in the community college with the hope of one day contributing to the cause. Okay, I like Laurenthal a lot. So I'm definitely gonna kill Mr. Drinking Buddies, which means we can save the art forger. Okay, I feel I feel pretty confident with that. I think I killed the right people, the corrupt, basically I killed both corrupt politicians, so we're good with that. Okay. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Um, awesome. Balancing the world, getting Excellent. things done. That is what I hoped to hear. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. I can see that. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Feel pretty good. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Yay. There really is not much else to say. Okay. You may leave. See you tomorrow. And away I go. Okay. Let's go. I have 900 now. So. Prepare for a perilous oh. adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. I love Mortimer. Okay, we've got that lamp thing again. We've got what looks like a. Oh, the snow globe's expensive. Which makes me think maybe it's important. Okay. A 
tentacle. I'm, I'm gonna save up for the snow globe just because I feel like when something's that expensive that you have to save for it, maybe it might end up being important. Or it's just a cool prop. You never know. Oh, no, not going up. Oh, fate is on the second floor today. Back to my office. Put my money away. So I wonder, is it 300 a day no matter what? Because that's kind of what it seems like. Okay, let's see. All survived in a plane crash due to skillful pilot. Local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Fair. A new celestial body located named Laurenthal after its discoverer. Oh, I like Laurenthal. I'm glad I saved her. And the portrait of Dusk initially sells for 200,000 at the Royal Art Auction. Turns out to be an impressive forgery. There's our forger. Um, experimental paint turns out to be toxic to the environment. That's not good. And black holes set to end all life. Okay, so we wanna look for something about paint and something about black holes, I would say, to keep an eye out. Grim, have you looked outside today? It rains. It has been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the despondence within me. Well, here are some rules for you. I feel like maybe we could have elaborated on that. Um, so three humans have to die. Another, another day, another death. So three and I have five. So the majority have to die. So let's start here. Olaf Rayner, 35 designer. Um, music, dogs, drinking. What else can one hope for in life? I like this guy. Olaf is one to enjoy the sweet life of a designer in a prestigious business IT company. They also enjoy making five second videos on the popular social media platform, Wat Wat. I feel like that's, that would be YouTube. So I like him so far, but again, I have to kill three people. Um, Kaya Chadwick, 25 Butcher. Kaya never thought they'd have the stomach for chopping up meat. Turns out the trick was to disassociate and have sharp knives. They tend to be slightly hasty and wasteful when handling their product. On the weekends, Kaya does a street circus act that focuses on knife juggling. Grim, I am watching you. You should mark this profile live. Okay. I mean, probably not who I would have picked, but because now I can only save one other person, right? Yeah, I think I can only save because I have to I have to kill three, right? Yeah, three. So I can only save one more. Matthias Oliam, he's 18 and a student. It has been said that Matthias talks too much. However, they themselves think they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion and they're endlessly fascinated by black holes. Okay, I feel that's not who I pick, but I feel like we need to take the black hole thing into consideration. Kaipo Anuoi, 72, retired, or Kaipo. Kaipo is the grumpiest, most cantankerous senior citizen possible. They dislike absolutely everyone and everything and are adamant in making everyone's lives more difficult, both in life and death. There is no escape from Kaipo. Okay, I have to kill three people and I think Kaipo should be one of them. Okay, so I still have these two to decide. I have to kill two out of these three. Fernardinho, Lorca, 35 Barista. Fernardinho loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art. They're an, average, an avid supporter of bamboo cups, dishes, and utensils. In their free time, Fernardinho likes bird watching, pirate films, and selling bootleg. As you ray discs, they also have a modestly popular film review blog. Unfortunately, I think Fernardinho is gonna have to go. And I feel like I should save the black hole guy. So, oh, I liked this guy though, but I'm sorry, Olaf. I feel like we gotta save Mr. Black Hole. All right, yeah. It's like, I feel like the conqueror's gotta be giving us hints, you know, right? So, let's, let's see. Grim. 
There you are. Let us be quick. You got it. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Sweet. You even adhered to my little test oh, note. Oh, yeah. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. You got it, boss. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. Uh -huh. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. Yay. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. My dream. Imagine the possibilities. Oh, I like pleasing the cat. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Grim? All right, let's go see my friend Mortimer. I think I should have, I should have 1,200 now, I think. I think I have 1,200. Let's see. What how? Okay, snow globe's still there. How can humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Okay, I think I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep saving. These are all things we've seen before. I'm gonna keep saving for the snow globe. Again, just because it's so expensive. I feel like there must be a reason. to work. Here I go. Do your job. Jeez. A little, little intense. Okay. Cocker. Vast advances being made in research of reusable fuel cells. Researchers credit young talent involved in special projects. Okay. Maybe that's my black hole guy? Grouchy senior in the Cosmopolis dies. Still manages to make life worse for everyone. Tribute to Ollie Ray gathered over 1 million views in first day. That was the, the Watt Watt guy. And then micro scale steam mechanics could unlock access to a brand new dimension and possibly destroy the world. Okay, so I don't I don't know whether that's positive or negative, steam mechanics. Um, Morning Grim. Good you are paying attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent else mistakes may sneak into the workflow pipeline. So quota for the day, we have to, two humans have to die and we have to save anybody with a science background. Okay. So we have to kill two, but save anyone with science. Okay, Damien Watts, 42 geographer. I feel like that is science, not in like a biochemical or medical way, but it's still like a science. Um, Damien is a geomorphologist researching a mysterious new series of mineral formations. Appearing mostly in the tundra regions, this phenomena exhibits a shimmer and they're often shaped like human arms. Damien is on the verge of a breakthrough. I feel like he's gonna be a live. I only have to kill two, so. Okay, Hayden B. Blackburn, 41, field researcher, geology again. Hayden is a geologist who is an who is adamant in their belief that microscale steam mechanics are totally doable. They dream of creating a microscale model steam train by using the soon to be available technology. Again, I feel like that's science again, so I'm thinking they'll both live. Math is also kind of a science in and of itself. Um, Fiona Yo, or Yao, 22 mathematician. A sharp mind and a quick wit have served Fiona well. They are the maths experts in a popular science show, making maths cool again and having no one notice their extensive tax fraud endeavors. Okay, the, the tax fraud's not great, but way to make math accessible. Oh, composer. That's not science, but I like music. Michael Land, 31, composer. Michael was a musical prodigy since age four, being able to pick up any instrument with little to no effort. Recently, they have been working at Fine Art Studios, composing some of the most haunting musical pieces for a number of soundtracks, mostly for computer games. Okay, so he's definitely not science. These are all possibly science. Nicholas Zhao, 43 Spy. That's cool. Nicholas was sent to Cosmopolis City from a rival country to learn national secrets, and nobody suspects them because they're a well-integrated sleeper agent. The success of their mission could prove catastrophic. They built a family for cover, although Nicholas has become increasingly attached to them. I have a feeling Nicholas is gonna die. And then, 
Martin Baltimore 26 Sailor. Martin loves huge battleships, the bigger the better. What do, bat what do huge battleships have? Huge guns. Martin also loves those. Martin loves so many things about working on an enormous battleship that they can't even verbalize all of them. Okay, so I would say these guys are all science, so I'm gonna save all of them. And then I'm also going to save the mathematics. We'll, we'll overlook the tax fraud. And then I have to kill two out of three of these guys. So we've got the composer. I definitely want to kill the spy because they said it could be catastrophic. So then I have to kill and save one. So I'm going to save the composer and I'm going to kill the sailor. Yeah. That seems right. That seems like a, at least like a well-rationed plan. We'll see if it's actually right. What a day, Grim. What a day. Uh-oh. Let us go over your conduct first. Did I do something wrong? Good. I okay. see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Okay, so it's good. I did Anyway, good. Grim. Five days you have been okay. with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Um, I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. A job like any other. I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I still feel awful about every choice or every moment is living hell. I'd say I didn't like it at first, ah, but I've grown to enjoy I told it. I one would get used to it. Uh, at least I hope I told you. Corporate motivation and all that. Doesn't seem very genuine, fate. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Um, I'm not sure. Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. What is it wrought? This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Um, but you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't True worry. enough. Oh. One I guess I picked that one. The others are there to follow. I think it said something like, uh, somebody has to do it, maybe? The office is perennial and venerated. Mm. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Okay. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Um... Oh, is there... I like that. Um, what's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Like oh, the good place? Not at all. Oh. You don't sound too sure about that. I am. Quite so. Is it... I'm so confused. Come now. Do not worry about it. All is in order. Just a bit over your pay grade. Rude. Anything else? Um... Why do all the profiles refer to people An as they? An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Hmm. So no ethnic data? Minimal. That's cool. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Oh, it's a great Excluding message. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. Are there aliens among us? The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Okay. Anything else? Um, I guess I might as well ask all the questions. Ah, the children. They are a special case, for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Are there many offices or departments? Hmm. And they all have reapers working Maybe in them. Well? Exactly. Anything else? Oh, like the cat. Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. So is the cat... 
is the cat like was it alive and now dead or was it like Even a reaper cat plants. yes there is a department for plants do not ask about the plant department <laughs> anything else um. technically uh, kind of i guess ruins are like a type of dead but then again they often feel so alive Hmm, that's true. I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Okay. Anything else? I want to get back to work. It has been enlightening. Oh. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, did my answers just change the trajectory of my game? I don't know. Okay, so I'm at 1500, so let's just, let's go to bed. I know I can't get what the big thing I wanna get from Mortimer, but hopefully today I should be able to. So we'll go after today. Money. Oh, a lot of, pro eight profiles. Let's see what we did. New highly conductive and strong material named Damium found to be highly toxic. Hundreds of industrial companies frantically purging their factories. Okay. Oh, young sailor shoots self out of a huge cannon. Were they not blown completely to bits, you'd have seen their enormous smile. Oh, well, at least he went out happy. Local man dead from poisoning. Intelligence agencies suspect espionage activity. That's our spy. Um, album of the month reviews. Michael lands the orchard, a stunning display of haunting harmony. That makes me happy. Um, market experts warn against investing in Yitcoin. Okay, Yitcoin. I wonder what that's based off. Um, morning, Grim. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. So, quota for the day, a total of six humans have to die. At least two humans age 60 or older have to die and any humans with an economy-related profession have to die. So six people have to die, two have to be over 60, and anyone economics-related. So let's let's try to look at the ages. So there's nobody over 60 at the front there. Okay, so 63, or no, 53. Um, so was this 60? Oh, that's 63, okay. Orrin Sewell, 63 bank executive, Orin is a branch manager at Master Bank, currently working on analyzing the positives and negatives of financing the Mount Massive project. They're a fan of trekking on difficult terrain, football, and mega engineering. They dream of having a building named after them. Oh, I hope, because I think I'd have to kill him because I had to kill two, two over 60, and I think there's only two over 60, so. At least two humans who are older than 60. Okay, so he has to die. We know that. Hopefully he gets his building. And then here's the 70 year old. So Jean-Baptiste Cortine, 70 retired. Jean-Baptiste is a retired carpenter and a veteran of the long ago military conflict at the Marisola Peninsula. For years, they have had to deal with bouts of PTSD, which they have managed to alleviate in their twilight years by painting and composing melancholic folk songs. They run a successful investment firm on the side. Okay, he has to die, but I appreciate that he lived a very good life. Okay, so now I have six left and I have to kill four. So let's start here. Ross Rushed, 53 Banker. Ross, a widely celebrated economist, is called the preeminent expert in market manipu manipulation. For the past decade, they've appeared on many television programs, advising people when and where to invest their funds. Okay, so... Okay, so I have to kill him because he's an economy-related profession. So is there some kind of recession going on, maybe? Okay, um... Data Analyst. Sky 1935. Despite a liberal arts education, Sky works in the space industry writing programs to analyze satellite data. They live with their spouse and cats. Any spare time they have, they enjoy sitting in the hot tub. I mean, who doesn't? I like Sky, and Sky doesn't look like they have to die, so we'll put we'll put them to the side. 
Sumika Kitu, 48 Ranger. Sumika leads a highly trained anti-poaching team. The number of poaching incidents was greatly reduced when Sumika got approved to use electric weapons and traps against the poachers. Sumika lives right on the edge of the forest with their family. Okay, I... I want them to live. I should read everybody else though, but I think, I think they're gonna live. I realized I should start also saying, I think I might have been saying he and she, and I wasn't doing it consciously, but that really put into perspective for me that I should be referring to all of them as them. So I'm gonna try to do that from now on. Um, Jarl Ingmar Olafsson, 41, a market researcher. Jarl is currently researching the soda market, hoping to find a new angle. It's a make or break situation for Jarl as they're trying to provide for their family while succumbing to credit card debt. Their boss is thinking of firing them due to low results. I don't know if that would technically be an economics related profession. It might be. I'm gonna wait though. Um, Ryan Vargas, 41 journalist. Ryan, otherwise a solid and stalwart journalist, has an obsession. They adamantly claim they saw when younger a headless rider emerge from deep within the autumn mist, searching for their lost beret. That's interesting. And then we've got Feruza Williams, 40 investor. Feruza is an avid investment enthusiast, spending all their waking hours tracking stock prices and buying and selling stocks randomly. Despite having zero knowledge of economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convincing people on social media to invest in Gitcoin. Okay, I know they say they're not technically economics, but I think they are, and we saw that Gitcoin is bad. So I have to kill two more. I want Sumika to live, because I like the anti-poaching stuff. So that's one of my lives, so I have to kill two out of three. Market researcher and data analyst. Okay, so that's not really economics, whereas this could be because it's technically the market. So I'm gonna kill Jarl. Okay, I have to kill six and I've killed four, right? One, two, oh no, I've killed five. Three, four, five. So I have to kill one more. Okay, the space industry seems like it could be important, but the journalist thing was, I'm gonna keep the space industry and kill the journalist. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm a little worried about the space industry because technically that was like a, a data analyst, which could be considered economics, but it, it didn't seem like that was the right kind of data. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. Oh yeah. New recruits often falter during dark time. Okay. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. Yay. How do you feel after such a day? Um, I think there was a lot to do, but I worked Good it all God. out. We have to do what is necessary, even if we do not fully understand why. Okay. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Oh, I had said this, an economics crash. Interesting. Yeah. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Alright, continue. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Good night, Fate. Alright, so I should have... I think that puts me at 1800, so let's see if we can buy our snow globe. Good patron, me Oh, there the is no snow globe now. Um, what's this? Anpu, God of the Dead, something something, the afterlife, cemeteries, and tombs, and the protector of the underworld. This hound really gets around and grants you a stunningly canine visage. Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Again, I don't know if something's coming. You know? 
Oh wait, I'm going down. Going down. Going down. Okay. Coins go in my coin drawer. We got six people. Okay, let's check out the cocker. Local man commits suicide. Mm. Local man. It's very sad. Um, respected financier found dead after devastating market crash. Ah. That's sad. Um, crooked bankers and master bank officials under investigation for years long fraud. The MM project struggling to find financing, ecological restoration of the mountain delayed by several years. Soda research taken too far as market researcher drowns in a vat of soda, a bubbly death. Um, error spotted in satellite, which would have caused it to crash. It's now slated to reach orbit successfully this week. Okay, I feel like that was, that was a good choice that I saved the data analyst. And then AI breakthrough imminent promises Founder of Trans Global Inc. Okay. Oh. Put that down. For Grim. Morning, Grim. Okay. See if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Okay. So we gotta kill two people and spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. What are the troubles, though? Okay, so, so that's basically up to like my discretion. So, oh gosh. Iwa Zwanieska, 33 nurse. Iwa works as a nurse in the intensive care unit, making sure the patients don't suffer more than they have to. Iwa's also a big advocate of euthanasia. Sometimes they feel so bad for a patient, they give them the gift of death in an act of mercy without really consulting them. Okay, I'm... I know that that's a really testy topic. You know, I, I think the real issue I see with what was said here was the whole without really consulting them. Because what one person might believe is merciful, another might not. And it's not really their right to judge that. So, but I see how that could be helpful in the troubles. So I don't know yet with that one. We're gonna put that there. Um, J.B. Solomon, 26, sommelier. Who knows all about wines? J.B. largely does. Oh, doesn't. J.B. largely doesn't. They've been lazy at learning the minute differences between grape sorts and other aspects of vinification. Lately, J.B. has started to claim that the headless rider is stalking him around town. Wait, is this the same, is this the same person? Or is this, is there really a headless rider? Okay, that's, that's a running through line here. We're going to keep that over there. Um, Lissa Markovic, 47 housekeeper. Lissa loves to engage in gossip. They have a binder full of information about the people living in the house they work at and a separate binder for all the people who visit. Most of the information is sensitive and used to blackmail the wealthy and they do it all for their children. I mean, I'm not a, a fan of blackmail, but in terms of being helpful against the troubles, someone with that level of information about possibly important people could be. Um, Rico Papillion, 34 email scammer. Rico has built a fully automated spam bot sending thousands of emails a day, offering people riches beyond their wildest dreams, only if they share their credit card information first. It's a numbers game, so they succeed from time to time. Not a fan of Rico. Definitely not helpful in the troubles. How many people do I have to kill? Um, two. I think Rico's gonna die, so I'm gonna put them there, but we'll see. Um, David Garver, 34, IT architect, oh, an AI researcher. David is the founder of Transglobal Inc., a company that produces high-tech gadgets like smartwatches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost proponent of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. Okay, I feel like that's probably important, so they're probably gonna live. And then lastly, Satsumi Fisher, 35 trainer. Satsumi is an ostrich jockey trainer. Having been an ostrich jockey themselves until an ostrich kick ended their career, they know what it takes to make it in the brutal world of ostrich riding. 
After retiring, they see the birds as nothing more than a means to an end, and as such, they run an ostrich fighting right on the side. I don't like that. I guess if I have to kill two... Oh, I didn't mean to put that. I think it kind of should be them. I feel like everybody else has benefits, but I don't see the benefit of a mean ostrich trainer and an email scammer. So I think I'm gonna save everybody else. Because I feel like everybody else, there's... Not, not to say that those two people don't have like benefits to their life, but I feel like everybody else has something that could be beneficial. You know what I mean? I mean, the line is... I mean, I'm just fascinated by the whole uh, headless stalker thing going around. Okay. Because even the housekeeper, like I said, like, I'm, I'm not a fan of blackmail, but if they have information that might be important, I see how that could be helpful against the troubles. Okay. Welcome, Grim. Oh. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Um, crushing it? Dismal. I think I've managed to follow the rules, or I'm just surprised I've made it this far. I'm gonna go with crushing it. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Mm -hmm. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Yay. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Hmm. Wait, I wanted to ask yes. about today. What about today? Yesterday went really bad. What about today? Today? Um, oh, everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Good. That makes me happy. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Yes, again, as long as you follow the rules, it'll all get better. If we don't follow the rules, it's going to get worse, and I think nobody wants it to get worse. Now, where did I put those papers? Mm. Ah, here we go. Right, looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been Yay. most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. I feel like the surprised is a little insulting, but we'll overlook that. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Let's go. I don't really do this of for the course, money, you know. We do it for the excitement of paperwork. I mean, not really that either, but okay. Speaking of, the raise Ooh. also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Oh, Display it proudly on your workstation. That will, I will do. That's funny. Do I get a meow? Do not let this uh -huh. cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Moors. One gets used to them, if in the right mindset. Fret not. Okay. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. Now, I wonder if there's endings where you don't pass. I'm sure there are. I would guess the two ways you don't pass are you save everybody, or you save too many people, or you kill everybody. I wonder how the whole what type of person you kill comes into play. Like, does that really matter? Because there's a lot of them that are somewhat questionable. Like that whole industrial economics background, or I don't know if it was industrial and economics or industrial and something. But I wonder if that's, if some of that is up to you or if it's very strict. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. But when he says grim at the end of the sentence, it's always so funny. Grim. Okay. So that is me. Oh, and I got four. Oh, yeah, because I got a pay raise. Okay, so let's go see our buddy Mortimer. Need ye cures oh, for ailments? Oh, or there's the, the fidget spinner from the demo. 900. 
Okay, for the, I want to get this. I'm gonna get it. Serenity to desolation. Well, scuttle me both, why oh. don't you? Clear as a crisp spring morn, I remember the scared. day in the cave at the bottom of an ocean, which was guarded by a horrendous beast. So, had no choice but to underwater arm wrestle the Kraken. All eight tentacles. Afterwards, I met a hag with crow feet wrinkles on her face and wrinkled crow faces on her feet. She knew me well, that we had not met before. Gifted me this ominous globe. Ooh. Maybe it was a warning of a kind. Maybe she just fancied me. <laughs> I did die about a week later. Oh. Okay. All right, so we got our snow globe. Let me go back up. Oh, there it is. Oh, I don't get it till I start the next day. Okay, personal quarters. And okay, everybody, I think I am going to leave this episode here. Um, I am really liking this game. I knew I would because I like the demo so much, but even having played the demo, I don't feel like I got bored playing the first week. I feel like there was still a lot to get to- Oh, my earpiece fell out. I feel like there was still a lot to get to know and a lot more to discover. You know, like I said, I'm gonna continue on this path and finish it, and then maybe we'll go back and try to see some of the other things. But for now, I'm, I'm really excited. And I can say that minus those few moments where things got a little close, video games are a great escape. And they're a fun way to think about the world separate from what it really is. And also, you know, relate things back to it. A lot of good lessons here. They obviously put a lot of work into it. And I can't wait to see what happens next. Bye, everybody.